Auto Line Garage is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. It used to be that you'd switch your engine oil depending on the season. Thinner oil was needed in the winter, so it didn't turn to molasses, while heavier weight oil that wouldn't break down in the heat was needed during the summer. But that was for older engines. New engines are more precisely made, and oil formulas have gotten much better. So that old thinking needs to be thrown out the window. It was less than 10 years ago that we saw most vehicles switch to considerably lower viscosity oils. Where 10W30 oil may have been normal before, it became 5W20. Some manufacturers even recommend 0W20 oil, which had many wondering if they'd be doing damage to their engine by using such thin oil. But they're just fine. Some even protect at oil temperatures as high as 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 205 degrees Celsius, while still pouring at temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees, or about negative 47 degrees Celsius, which is well outside the normal operating range for most vehicles. The switch was made to help improve fuel economy by reducing internal engine friction. Another benefit is that because it flows so well at cold temperatures, it lubricates parts faster during cold starts, where most engine wear occurs. The fuel economy improvement is about half to 2%. But as we've said before, the upcoming stages of fuel economy regulations are going to be harder and harder for automakers to meet, so every little bit helps. Well, according to a fluid representative from a petroleum company, some 2016 models will be using 0W8 oil. Yes, you heard that right, 0W8. That's only slightly thicker than water. I'm not sure if it will improve fuel economy by that same half to 2%, or which make and model will use it first, but we'll make sure to get you those details as soon as they come out. And it just goes to show how far the automakers need to go to try and meet CAFE standards. For Autoline Garage, I'm Sean McElroy.